Hey guys, Alex the Modder here, and today I'm bringing another bucket plugin tutorial. And, um, today we're gonna be doing, um, like, uh, a block blacklist. So, like, if you ever look on, like, the bucket forums and look for blacklist block plug plugins, so that, like, you can't place TNT or bedrock or something like that. So, I'm actually gonna show you how to do that, but, uh, so you wanna open your, your class here, and then, uh, you wanna implement listener by the way you can do this in multiple classes I just do it in one but um so you implement the listener so that since we have a listener we have to do on enable so just bring up that here and then go get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this this and then um actually this there um and then after you register it it uh that's registering this listener so but now for the block placing we gotta go at event handler public void um we'll call it place so block place event place event event and Freaking language change, please. I'm pretty sure you can get the uh, player. So, event dot get player. Yep, okay. So, you want to get the player from the event. And then, uh, you want to, I guess, how should we do this? If you open a browser, I don't really have any and I don't want to lag the video, but, um, if you open a browser, you can find, like, an I ID list on like any of the sites for stuffs and stuffs, you know. So, um, but basically, if player is not op, so that's not so much rank. If player dot is op, so if player is not op, go if event dot get block. So this will be the block placed. Um, Oh wait, no, get block placed. Okay, there you go. Get block placed is equal to, wait, no, get type ID is equal to 46, which is TNT. Um, we want to go event dot set canceled, true, and go, like, if we don't want them to have that block either, we can always remove it from their inventory, like, I'll show you that after. But, um, we'll send the player a message saying you can't place that block or something like that. Chat color dot red. Oh, wait, I don't think I should chat colors yet. I'm not gonna spoil that. Have I done them yet? No, okay, that'll be next video. Next video, guys, I'm gonna show you chat colors and how you can change colors. So, um, just say you cannot, cannot place TNT. And, uh, so if player's not up, and the block placed is 46, which is TNT, it'll cancel that, so it won't place it. I think, yeah, it should work. And then it'll say you cannot place TNT. Um, so we'll go ahead and export this. Export jar file. YouTube, finish, yes. Uh, open plugins, copy YouTube to my plugin test server. Um, run it. Just don't mind all these plugin stuffs over here. It's nothing. It's nothing you need to know. And, uh, yes, I am uploading this one. 1.6 is out, but Bucket, I, so far, have not seen any Bucket API shit for, excuse my French, for, um, programming. So I am still doing 1.2.5, or 1.5.2, sorry. And, um,. It's just simply because I don't have the API, but as soon as the API is out, yeah, I'll be updating all my stuff. So, and hopefully it's not like a big update and it changes something. Oh my god. There. Um, I'm just gonna stop the rain. There. Okay, um, don't mind this hole. Sorry, I... I was just messing around with stuff and I made a huge hole. So, uh, 
I'll just get out of there now. Um, this is my this is my awesome sauce place. So if I get a block of TNT and I go to place it down, I can do it normally. But if I am not opt, I cannot place TNT, as you can see. Um, actually, if I game mode zero, program zero seven. You can see it like disappears, but it's still actually there. It's just the update inventory thing. So I technically still have it and I can keep trying to place it, but yeah, so the TNT is still there. But um if you want to change that, what you can do, it says you cannot place TNT, yeah yeah. But um if you don't want them to have that block, like you don't want them to have TNT, like if you have a no grief server and you don't want TNT everywhere and stuff like that and people to have TNT. So if they do glitch it or something, it like sets off. So uh, what you can do is go player dot get inventory dot remove item. You can use int and go forty six or um, player dot get item in hand. There, so you can remove player dot get item in hand, which will be that. Uh, so just export that again, and there we go. Um, just copy it on into your server. Load. Um, now if I try to do it, you see the block is gone. Um, there might be a way to glitch it from disappearing, I'm not sure. Um, okay, yeah, no. So yeah, it'll get rid of it in your hand. I thought you might be able to scroll fast enough, but no, you cannot. So, that is essentially anti-grief protection, but also, if I actually... Can I uh, open a browser, maybe? Maybe, 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 just ignore all this. Uh... You know, something that we both created. Oh that we both, we, we... I didn't want to hear that. My God. Okay, I don't have a browser, but um, Bedrock's ID is 7. So, um, if you go and look on the site, it actually tells you it's 7. And then you can change the message here. You cannot place Bedrock. Rock. ID is equal to 7. So, I cancel, remove, yeah, yeah. So, export, jar file, finish, yes. That one was really loud. Sorry about that, guys. It was like some ad, I'm guessing. Cause I think I had YouTube open when uh, when I opened that browser. Um. So if I get another block of TNT and Bedrock, yeah, okay, I got it right. Um. So if I try to place Bedrock, or the TNT goes away. Try to place Bedrock, goes away. So that's basically anti-grief protection blacklist type block thing magic. yeah it's blacklist blocks basically so um thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and look forward for the next video on uh, chat colors and coloring your name and stuff so uh hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and i'll see y'all later